My name is Agustin Macarro and I work for Telefonica Germany in Munich, here in Germany. And Telefonica is basically one of the biggest telecommunication providers in Germany, offering not only mobile services, but also fixed line services to consumer and enterprise uh, customers. And uh, this is Telefonica Germany is part of the whole Telefonica Holding, which is a company acting uh, worldwide. My role is um, I am managing the project to introduce the eSIM in our business. So um, basically to, to substitute the current plastic SIM card we have in the business. The main advantage of, of the eSIM is the simplification of the logistic process we have today with the plastic SIM, with the traditional SIM. This logistic process is pretty complex and expensive because the, the plastic SIMs have to be manufactured at the supplier then we have to transport them to the central warehouse and from the central warehouse we have to distribute all traditional SIMs in the, in the channels, in the shops, in customer service and also to, to the end customers. And we can simplify this process by introducing the eSIM because with the eSIM the central warehouse is basically a server and instead of transporting and distributing the SIMs we just have to download them to the end customer. And by doing this, we can achieve significant savings in the logistic process. The main advantages from the end user perspective are um, they will be able to use more devices. And the second one will be the activation process will be much simpler. Why do they have more devices? Just because by having the eSIM, um, the device manufacturer need less space when creating the devices and therefore smaller devices are possible with the ESIM and this will allow a lot of possibilities for the end customer. The second aspect is the activation process when getting a new device will be much simpler. It's just switch on the device and you can access the mobile services. In the past, or until now, the user had to have a handling with the plastic SIM cans, and this is something he can get rid of with the SIM. So the key success factors for the SIM, I think, are standards, devices, and customer experience. Standard means we need um, open interoperability between devices, networks, and SIMs themselves, and this is something that can only be achieved by having a standard-based solution instead of proprietary solutions. The second success factor is devices, so we need devices. So we need wearables, we need smartphones, uh, we need um, uh, all the devices that both the end user, the consumer, as well as the enterprise um, for industrial uh, machine to machine can have with the SIM. And the third factor is, of course, the best customer experience. So it should be very easy for the customer to activate an eSIM. Well, what I would love to see getting connected are things like wearables. So things like smart watches or smart glasses or smart cameras that I can take with me and use them and I know they are connected and I can use many functionalities that are in the cloud, for instance. Another thing could be uh, just to get um, tracking of things that are moving like cars or bicycles or things like that but also um, to get track of for instance some persons um, that need some special care like children or people who are sick things like that so we we can know at any time what these persons are and if we can get all these persons and things connected in a very secure mode I think we can get a lot of advantages in the real life.